read a little bit because I just can't remember like I used to when I was younger. So <laughs> I'll read what I wrote. Um, I actually had prepared a really, really long speech for you guys and get more into detail about my company in Canada. But I decided that really, you know what, you were really not here for that. So uh, we're going to just kind of get to the nitty gritty to get to the inside workings and uh, how the butterfly effect without Aim Better actually took effect in my company. Uh, a little bit about myself. After I served in the IDF uh, between uh, 1978 and 1983, I returned uh, back to Canada uh, in Montreal. Uh, and then I, in turn, I founded a company, a gene manufacturing company. And um, I'll spare you guys the boring details of how I got into that and everything else. Um, but as you can see on this, on this chart, uh, this was my, my company's breakdown of it from the different divisions and the different uh, aspects of the company, okay? I employed 800 people. The company operated 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The uh, company was diversified through adding seven different divisions that I bought over time, which I added, which made it a very self-sufficient, 100% self-sufficient manufacturing plant over the years. Uh, my daily production peaked at around 70,000 pairs of jeans per, uh, per day. Um, and, um, and my client base was Canada and the U.S. And I supplied around 9,500 retail outlets throughout Canada and the U.S. As you can see, the company chart, you see the word bomb. I don't know if all, any of you know what bomb is or some of you know what bomb is. It's, a call, it's the definition of a bill of material. All manufacturing worldwide is designed with a bill of material. Basically what this is, is that it, it is all aspects of manufacturing your item. No matter what it is, you need that. So as you could see, all my different departments use the bill of material. From all the way from the accounting, all the way down. All the way down actually to, to uh, my customers. My customers would order, and it would, the bill of materials would read up. Um, so basically, the bill of material, it controls cost, purchasing, production, accounts payables, accounts receivables, and distribution. So with all this said, you can start to see the ultimate importance of time and the importance of DBA teams to control time. Now, just before I start talking here, I want all of you to know that it's been many years since I so deeply believed in a product like I do from Aim Better. I could have sat back and uh, sipped my pina coladas because I sold my company uh, a few years ago. But after meeting with Yehuda and talking to him about this product that he has, um, I just got excited. I got excited about the product and what it's going to bring and how its uses are going to help companies worldwide. And I'm saying that it's going to save billions of dollars. And I will get into where the savings will occur. It's, it's not a cost when you have savings. Okay. So in the past three months that I've been with Aim Better, I've been there as their general manager, and I'm, I'm dealing with the, uh, the global market, not the market in Israel, okay? And we've expanded to 12 countries. And we're adding another eight in, uh, by October 15th. As you could see, the green is the ones that we've signed on, the countries that are selling our merchandise already. And the yellow is where I'm in the middle of negotiations. I'm also in the middle of negotiations with Americans, which we all know is going to become a very, very large market. We have signed a deal and uh, they started selling online, uh, the largest online marketing uh, reseller of software in the world. And they've taken our product on too and they started selling it also. 
So, yes, my excitement is just as equal as Yehuda's. So. Okay, so on this slide, I'm going to start showing you numbers for my actual production, okay, and how it turns into revenue, okay? So 70,000 pairs of jeans per, uh, on a 24-hour uh, cycle, 365 days a year. It's 25 and a half million pairs of pants every single year. At an average of around 2750 Canadian per pair, it gives me a revenue around 702 million and change per year. This would be my revenue. I employed 400 employees per 12-hour shifts, two shifts. So this was all my employees. My machinery for manufacturing was about 75% all mechanized, run with microprocessors, computer systems, and so on and so forth. I had one person, one finger, running my complete uh, spreading and cutting department, where they would actually spread and cut 70,000 pairs of jeans every single day, because everything was automized. I used automized carousels, I used automized cutting machines, and so on and so forth. Even my warehousing was automized. Okay? So you're starting, to, you're starting to understand and see the butterfly effect when it comes to information being transferred from one to the other to the other through the bill of material. And what you're starting to see now is you're clearly, clearly starting to see is the essence of time. Everything is time. Okay, so as DBAs, you under, start to understand the value of time. Okay, next. In total, there would be a slowdown of approximately, in calculations, a slowdown or downtime of about 14,000 hours in total per year. My total output per year would be about 3.5 million hours. And this is all machinery, all human beings, everything else, okay? Um, as you can see, that's on, part on, the, on, on my, second, uh, my second chart. But what's really interesting is, is that it's only 0.4% of my downtime is 14,000 hours. On the other chart, you, I've broken it down by the different aspects, the machinery, at 65% because the machinery would have to receive all the information, all the bill of materials. So if it was slow getting there, it was slow processing. If I lost, you know, 10 minutes here or every time that my machine started processing uh, a manufacturing style, whether it was in sewing, whether it would be on my monorail system going from the cutting room to my sewing department, whether if there was a slowdown, it was lost time. Now, here we get to the real true numbers. And you'll, you'll understand the full effect of the butterfly effect and how it started from the beginning and continue on to now. I would have less production. I would actually produce approximately 102,200 uh, less genes per year. That's $2.8 million of revenue, which I lost, off from 0.4% of downtime. Retail Canada, my stores in Canada, they would sell for about $59.99 my jeans. Over, a little over $6 million would be lost revenue because they didn't get the jeans to put in their stores to sell. In the US, it's around $34.99 because it's always cheaper in the States than Canada. It's around $3.5 million dollars retail loss. Didn't get my jeans. So I hope you're all starting to see the butterfly effect and how the type of slowdowns can affect the numbers moving down, down all the way down the line right to retail. So the total numbers, the total numbers, I put it in Canadian dollars, I put it in American dollars, and I put it in shekels. So you, everybody here has a sense how much money that I would lose, not so much lose, but would disappear because of slowdown on a yearly basis. So basically, in, in Canadian dollars, it would be $8.9 million between my retail Canada and my plant, my own revenue. 
in shekels, it's 22 million, a little over 22 million shekels every single year. I would say goodbye to that type of money. It's, uh, it's just a trickle effect of the slowdown. The more modern uh, you become, the more affected you are by slowdowns. And this doesn't have to be a lot, 0.4%. So you can imagine if you have a downtime of 2% and 3% and 4% that most companies have. And these downtimes are nobody's fault. It's just the way the machinery reacts. It's just the way data goes from one section to another section, from one computer to another. Okay. So yeah, 22 million shekels. <clears throat> and, and that's only a 0.4%. The butterfly effect is in full, full, full strength. So as DBAs and CIOs, can you imagine taking these type of numbers of loss to your bosses, to the executives? I call that self-suicide. But you, can you imagine taking 22 million shekels to your bosses and saying, hey, we can save this type of money. This is called heroic because you're doing the right thing, okay? Next. Okay, so I'm not too sure if everybody understands <clears throat> the true concept of efficiency uh, because they keep on changing it every couple of years to uh, appease middle management, I suppose, uh, production people, and so on and so forth. So originally, true, true efficiency could never achieve 100%. The reason why you can never achieve 100% is because people are entitled to two breaks per day. 20 minute breaks in the morning, 20 minute break in the afternoon. This leads to 96% true efficiency. But people thought, well, you know, the consultant said, well, I mean, how can we come back at, uh, you know, try and sell 100% when it's a true 96? So they devised a new, a new system called a KPI, okay? And, uh, this they took and they created that 100%. So 100% KPI, which I'm sure a lot of you understand what it is, um, is actually only equivalent to 96% true efficiency. So when a company is running at maximum productivity and it's meeting its projected goals, and you have no issues regarding your labor force. This is what I call an invisible cost. You are not seeing where your losses are coming from. You're not seeing where your projection, you're not meeting your numbers. This is an invisible, invisible cost. So now that we all see the numbers and how the butterfly takes hold, we can all say if you say, we need aim better. Go ahead. I created this level meter over the years because different aspects of a corporation looks at things very differently when it comes to companies. Executives care about one thing. We care about money. I'm not going to lie. I love money. I've always loved money. And I won't change that, okay? Middle management, operation, production, they don't care about money. They don't care about time. They care about percentages, KPIs. If you're running at your maximum capacity, you're good. Because you can only do your max. Whatever your machines can do, that's what you can do. Whatever your people can do, that's what you can do. So they base, they're based on KPI percentages. DBAs and CIOs and IT teams, they base everything on time. Time is everything because you need the time to resolve a problem. You need the time to find the problem. So everything is about time. So in summary, so just before I hand things off to our CEO and uh, uh, Yehuda Lazari, he's also our founder, uh, I would like to state in conclusion this, time. We all think we have enough time, but in reality, time is everything. As DBAs or IT teams or CIOs, your value 
can never be replaced but enhanced. Recognize its value and you become invaluable. As, par, as a past CEO, I know this value and understand it. As DBAs and IT teams also recognize a product that will only increase your value in every sense of the word. A company's worth in today's world is based on its strength of its people. Be leaders today and take the world tomorrow. Control time. Yehuda. Thank you, Jeffrey. <coughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, before I show a little bit screen from the, uh, the system itself, uh, part of our team is uh, here in the room. And uh, today we are serving more than uh, 660 companies, uh, basically most of them in Israel. Uh, we have uh, 25 companies in the world. But if you look at the deep number of instances of SQL Server, we serve more than 1,500 SQL Server in DBA uh, on a daily basis. It means we have a, a managing manage a service to this kind of service. So how actually, think of that, how you give a DBA services to 1,500 servers in the world on different platforms, different environment, and give a best solution. So the one thing that we are actually uh, goes for is to see everything in one screen. Uh, if you go outside uh, in the end of this session, you can see in the panel in real, 100 and 500 server in real time in one screen. It means, first of all, I want to see all my server in once, even if they are splitted in different companies, okay? On top, I will get the max server with the, you know, the most uh, problematic servers. When I get also a mail to my Zendesk support team, and from there I can start, but our monitor and knock system is also see this screen and identify an issue because this is really a problem if I got an issue on a CPU or issue on security. So I want to react to the best server. It's all need to be dependent on what I'm seeing, what is most, most uh, let's say, risk to my company. Second of all, I don't want to get inside the server at all. I want to see in the screen immediately and analyze immediately what's happened. So, Embedder is giving us the plan without getting inside the server. It's also analyzed for us the plan and give us a recommendation. Part of the server itself, it goes to the application server and bring the command line plus the CPU of the application server. Think of that as a DBA. It can be some network issue. It can be an application issue. It can be some snapshot. It can be something that runs on the server. We bring the environment itself, the application layer, the database with the, uh, the recommendation. And first of all, this is give us lots of time. This time give us enough time to react. When you are a DBA and you start to solve an issue, you need your first 10 minutes to get inside, analyze things, and then start dealing with the fixing. We start it from the first second, OK? The second thing is, uh, when it's come to a problem on a CPU or an issue on a disk, and you open, let's say, you don't do, you're gonna do it, but let's say, see on profile or trace file what's happened, you see thousands of thousands of query. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna see this kind of thing, like a thousands of query, and then aggregate them after five minutes? We don't need it. We just get inside another screen that we got, that online all the time is analyzed for us the issue, and pin us on the top, the query with the actual percentage of CPU. By the way, this is something that is not happened in SQL Server. It don't give you the percentage. We work on that very hard, and we analyze how much CPU each query is taking. And how we prove it, when we approve a query, we see actually that the, the CPU is go down, okay? And this is, I think, the most important thing that you need to get. More than that, that, that you can go back in time. It means if somebody is complaining, let's say, before five, five hours, I can see the period of the five hour or one minute, wherever I want. And if I'm not very, very focused, I can move it to my friends. And I also can see trends. I got all the information. I don't need to be at the accident to identify an accident, okay? It's all there. 
The other thing is, I think as a DVA, it's not just performance. Uh, I was in the, my previous session, I talked about security, about encryption, about hacking a company. Uh, part of it was that when somebody is hacking you, is not knocking you on the door. It's something that can be scrolled inside your company for even a year, like it's happening in SolarWind, and nobody know about it. So how you identify an issue inside your company, how you identify the problem. So our solution goes inside the application layer and it see all the problems. It's mean, even if I got syntax bad or some issue on my code, that it's on website, or it's something that happened in my, let's say, my uh, VMware application. We bring you all of this information in one screen that is categorized, we even categorize for you. If you go, let's say, for a conversion error in SQL Server, you got, I think, something like 20 different kind of errors. So we categorize it to convert error, one category. So we actually know where to search, and everything is cool. You can see it in graph, in any point in time, and you can see it, by the way, in any level. You can see it by, you can pick one company with 20 server, you can pick 20 servers of different companies, and you can, can get it aggregated to this level and to drop down until the level of uh, any kind of thing that you see. By the way, I show you now uh, an issue. Let's say the challenge is to give a service to so many companies. Okay, so my, one company called me, my screen is, is blocked, something happened. What we do? What we do in Aim Better, we just get inside the screen, go to the screen, and show that there is an issue on the syntax. So we actually have the query, what's happened, the user, the application, and at the time she's calling us, we give her the solution. And as a DBA, you know, most of the time you cannot do anything, yes? You need to go to the, the guys of the developers and make some version to fix it. But truly, you can give this solution after five seconds, or you can investigate it half a day and reproduce it with the user, okay? This is the change that we are bringing in. I think uh, the time, as Jeffrey said, it's so effective that even less than a percent get so much millions back. And I think this is the brave if we can bring these millions back to the company. More than, uh, I think, uh, the issue of on performance and an exception, let's talk about the real problem that I think happened today. All the cyber thing and the security thing and that the company is hacked, by the way, Shirby, that closed in the end. And things happen in a way that something moving inside your company and you don't know about him. So Embed are also dealing with this part. We see and identify you if somebody is opening, let's say, any desk in one of the server, if somebody open a remote desktop to your server, if, if some file is changing, if, if a software is installed or removed or upgraded, it's mean any change. And by giving you this sensitive information, you can react fastly. That's all, I hope uh, you enjoy. I hope uh, that you see time different now, and I hope uh, that we bring something to your thinking about how you can be more proactive with your company and give the time the respect that it needs. Thank you. Anybody have any questions while we're still here? I mean, we still have a few minutes, so. Okay. Yeah. It's, an, it's a very livable percentage. Well, that's it. The only time you can measure it is at the end of your production cycle. And that's how what I used to measure it, at my, my end of my production cycle. So if I didn't have 70,000 pairs of genes gone through the complete cycle, we had a problem trying to figure out, okay, what was going on, you know, right? The machines, if, if, if my spreading 
my spreading machines, the carousel machines, right, because I had the carousel machines going, if they would go to my, my warehouse and they would grab the machine within its lot of time, it was fine. Or if it would spread, if it would spread within a four and a half hour span, 70,000 pairs of jeans, everything was fine. So what was the problem? Well, the problem was is the information going from design to pattern makers to production, purchasing the bill of material, and then from purchasing to warehouse that they had to prepare everything. So your slow, my slowdown wasn't necessarily, you know, all the, machine, the computers broke down or the microprocessors broke down. Mine was basically information going from one side of my, of my, my uh, offices, my warehouses, and my companies to the other side. This is what slowed me down. And yes, I speak to people every single day. And my first question is, is that, you know, what kind of downtime, what kind of slowdown time you, you have? And they'll say 10%, 7%. And I just stop the conversation. And I just say, are you serious? And you're OK with this? Let's sit down. Let's help. I can tell you my office is right next to Yehuda's, OK? Yehuda gets a call. I was thinking it was about a month ago. He got a call from a company here in Israel. I, I, my Hebrew's not all that great. Right? And the company's like, oh my God, you know, we have a problem. I can't figure it out, and this and that. And this and that. So Yehuda connected on. They, they did their thing there. And uh, during the phone call, he found the problem. You know, and then they went ahead and they fixed it. Knowing what the problem is is half the battle. 7%, 10%, 30%. I mean, it's, it's just, it's nobody's fault. Jeffrey. It's a system. I yeah. just want to explain something that you see in his eyes that we do with our great team here. Yeah. That uh, we get calls from a company. Basically, it's a company that works with retail or maybe some industry. We don't work in, let's say, in startup and big company, yes? And they got an issue. And we've never been there. We don't know what's happened. Uh, but we, because we installed the solution in five minutes, by the way, it's, it's really next, and that's all. Right? And the sensor of this, comp this solution is analyzed automatically all the environment through the infrastructure to the network, to the application server, including the web server and the database, and give us the plan and also the max, you know, max query that got, got you help, or maybe some query that stuck you. Everything's inside, okay? This is something that you can never do in yourself. So maybe other DBA can solve it after half an hour. But I actually give the solution as part of the call. And this is why we actually get, get a great thing of getting 660 company in four years. That's all. And we have big company, by the way, IDF. And we got also Brinks and BDO. It's not a small company. Just I think this session is something like to give you the, all the information to adopt the technology because it's here in Israel, it's very big, and it's going to grow in the world. And I think Jeffrey also can help us with that, with this in all his experience. The, the excitement out there coming from somebody who doesn't have a heavy accent like Yehuda now, and they're able to explain it, right? Um, the, the excitement out there is, is, is really, it's, it's, I mean, I've literally signed on 12 countries in, in less than a two-month period because these people want, these countries want this, and we've shown it and we've proven it, um, how the system really, really works. You know, 0.4% doesn't sound like a lot, but 22 million shekels is a lot of money. I understand that, you know. Absolutely. But everything counts. Everything, every bit counts. You know, salaries and bonuses at the end of the year. I've got to remember, I look at the bottom line. The bottom line is, is that I had a projection. And if my projection was going to be 17 to 18 percent net profit at the end of the year, and it's coming in at 16.4 or 16.6, well, how come I didn't meet my 17 percent, you know? I know it's greedy and everything else, but it, it, it's, it's a survival of the company. And I've learned in the last number of months, and I also learned at my company, that the importance of my IT teams, the importance of having them part of these decisions, the importance of them making decisions, hey, we need this type of software. 
this will help us. You know, uh, I, I used to tell my, uh, my, uh, my IT teams, listen, while you're doing, you know, the, everything, the system is working good, go develop something else for our company. Develop, create. And they did. They created. They created new modern microprocessors. They created other type of microprocessors. They, did, they devised ways of doing things. And these people stayed with me for 20 years. OK, I'm a little bit before uh, computers uh, age type thing. But they stayed with me right to the end until I sold the company. Right. So it just shows you hand in hand. And I'm telling you, when I found out about this software and it was explained to me a couple times I really got excited I got excited because what this is going to bring to the world of business it's going to allow the IT of the future the teams and DBOs and the CIOs to develop and be so creative because things are going to run smoother things are going to be found quicker because of this you know and we also have a lot of different ways that we're bringing it across to the world. You know, it's, um, it's just a very exciting, exciting thing. Well, this is a good question that I heard today a few, few. First of all, we work today in an area that it's uh, mostly in SMB. It's mean a retail company and industry that using a software, okay, that you don't have a DBA there because the DBA is not developing. So basically, we are really growing this area, and the world is very big in this area. The second thing, if you want to compare us in a level of, let's say, a company that has a DBA that work with us, so people as you, not you, are changing the work today, OK? What we feel in the last three years, that many employees changing the, the work. And company is replacing with another guys, or women, yes? More experience, less experience, even experience, but don't know the environment. So, and people even leave the work because they got ticketing. They come to develop in a company and they maintain it. So if we can bring something that can be closed very fast, the issue, and leave you the time to develop, I think this is something that we also cont contributed. About competition, so, Basically, I think solo wind is most closely to, to what we do. Why I'm saying close? Because first of all, you can see in our solution more than 1,000 companies in a single screen. It's not that uh, you can install it in different companies, but still you can see it in, in one screen. And because it's SaaS, it means you don't have a database, a resource. You don't pay. When you pay solo wind, so you pay for the product, and then you pay for for the resource itself, the disk, the CPU, the license, the repository, and things like that. Second thing, I think it's us, is better, and the guys that sit here that give a service. You need to understand that everybody that get this solution, get, give, we give a free support team about how to navigate, how to issue a problem, and we already even ready to give you a support as a DBA. Mm. We have a coverage DBA, by the way, like a Netafim, the worldwide, and BDO the worldwide, and brings the worldwide, they got a DBA, and we are second DBA. It's cool, DBA and off, DBA as a service. And I think, uh, so for that, I don't know if there is any competitor, but yet, if there was, there's plenty of room for everybody, I think, yes? And besides, I, my attitude is, is that in five years from now, we won't have any competition. No, we always need a company. <laughs> That's just the way I look at things. No, no, I you know? need a I, I, did, I did that in the jeans, and I'll do that here too, you know. But listen, guys, I am not techie. When these guys were talking and we're, and we're, we're having a meeting or something, I have trouble with the language as it is, but I really don't understand them half the time when they're talking. So I'm not a technical person. I know when I see a good product, okay? I know everybody needs this. I know that you guys should be taking the idea of this back to your companies and saying, hey, listen, we may have a solution for, you know, to gain 5% or even 6% or 8%, just that gain. There's no ma senior management that is going to say no to gaining, right? Because it's really not a loss because he doesn't even know about it. 
He doesn't know about it. But think about you know, all the advantages that you can have. And this is my success with all these companies in the world. And I'm talking in every single language right across the world. Every single day. Yesterday I was on the phone with, the, with, with a company in Turkey. They want to come on board because they're excited about it. You know, take this idea, take this to, to, to your companies and just call us, speak to us. You know, um, it doesn't cost anything to call. We even have a trial version and we'll help. We have the head of support, customer support here today with us, Yale, you know. And she, Yale, we're, we're, please yeah, stand. You, yeah, you're stand, serving yeah. more than 660 you know, companies. We're, we're here, we're here in to English, help. In the world, yes. You know, uh, this is, I guess this is going to become my legacy. My company was, it will not be my legacy. This will become my legacy, bringing the world such a good savings on the issues of, of, of monetary loss. And uh, Jeffrey, I, I just want to add something about technology because it's still DDA here. You need to understand that uh, our system is uh, identify antivirus in or some cyber software that has in your network that scan mm -hmm. your MDF file and get you weight. Mm -hmm. Even if the snapshot on the environment of the IT, if they do a snapshot from the night and it's stuck, it's identified to you. Okay, let's mm -hmm. say your website is stuck. We show the page that is stuck. It's not the matter of being DBA. If you have an issue of performance, you are regular to go to the stick of the DBA, open your script, and we say stop. See everything on top, see the problem on top, and mm -hmm. then go. And then I think even I will respect your time because when there is an issue, it's not planned for you, okay? So you, instead of ruin your plans, do the right thing and continue the best job that you already make mm -hmm. without a problem. You know, come and see us on LinkedIn. Come and see me on LinkedIn, okay? And just follow me. Just, just, just follow what's going on in our company. We're bringing January 1st in 2023 five new products to the world. You know, uh, working hard with everybody and the team and everything else and marketing team because I'm a marketing maniac. You know, I believe in marketing, marketing, marketing. I come from North America. Not too much Christmas here, but there's lots of Christmas there. So, you know, I've learned over time. Um, so, you know, come, come see me on LinkedIn, come see our webpage, uh, you know, just learn about our stuff. Take the trial version, try it, bring it to your companies. I'm telling you, you will benefit from it. I know for a fact you will. That's all I got. Thank you Thanks, much. everybody. Thank you.